James Madison was an American statesman, diplomat, and founding father who served as the fourth president of the United States from 1809 to 1817. Madison was popularly acclaimed the Gefather of the Constitution for his pivotal role in drafting and promoting the Constitution of the United States and the Bill of Rights. Born, March 16, 1751, Belgrove. Died, June 28, 1836, age 85 years, James Madison's Montpelier, Montpelier Station, Virginia, United States. Presidential term, March 4, 1809 to March 4, 1817. Party, Democratic Republican Party. Spouse, Dolly Madison M., 1794-1836. Height, 1.63 meters. Education, Princeton University, 1769-1771, the College of New Jersey. James Madison net worth $113.3 million. Early life and education. James Madison Jr. was born on March 16, 1751, March 5, 1750, Old Style, at Bell Grove Plantation near Port Conway in the colony of Virginia, to James Madison Sr. and Eleanor Madison. His family had lived in Virginia since the mid-17th century. Madison's maternal grandfather, Francis Conway, was a prominent planter and tobacco merchant. His father was a tobacco planter who grew up on a plantation, then called Mount Pleasant, which he inherited upon reaching adulthood. With an estimated 100 slaves and a 5,000-acre, 2,000 hectares, plantation, Madison's father was among the largest landowners in Virginia's Piedmont. In the early 1760s, the Madison family moved into a newly built house that they named Montpelier. Madison grew up as the oldest of 12 children, with seven brothers and four sisters, though only six lived to adulthood. Of the surviving three brothers, Francis, Ambrose, and William, and three sisters, Nellie, Sarah, and Francis, it was Ambrose who would eventually help to manage Montpelier for both his father and older brother until his own death in 1793. President Zachary Taylor was a descendant of Elder William Brewster, a pilgrim leader of the Plymouth Colony, a Mayflower immigrant, and a signer of the Mayflower Compact, and Isaac Allerton Jr., a colonial merchant, colonel, and son of Mayflower pilgrim Isaac Allerton and Fear Brewster. Taylor's second cousin through that line was Madison. Madison's Birthplace It is on the west side of U.S. 301 in front of Emmanuel Episcopal Church and is just north of the Rappahannock River Bridge. Bell Grove Plantation House, the actual birthplace, was located 400 yards east and is no longer in existence. From age 11 to 16, Madison studied under Donald Robertson, a Scottish instructor who served as a tutor for several prominent planter families in the South. Madison learned mathematics, geography, and modern and classical languages, becoming exceptionally proficient in Latin. At age 16, Madison returned to Montpelier, where he studied under the Reverend Thomas Martin to prepare for college. Unlike most college-bound Virginians of his day, Madison did not attend the College of William and Mary, where the lowland Williamsburg climate, thought to be more likely to harbor infectious disease, might have strained his sensibilities concerning his own health. Instead, in 1769, he enrolled at the College of New Jersey, later renamed Princeton University. Madison as a young man at Princeton. His college studies included Latin, Greek, theology, and the works of the Enlightenment. Emphasis was placed on both speech and debate. Madison was a leading member of the American Whig, Cliosophic Society, which competed on campus with a political counterpart, the Cliosophic Society. During his time at Princeton, Madison's closest friend was future Attorney General William Bradford. Along with classmate Aaron Burr, Madison undertook an intense program of study and completed the college's three-year Bachelor of Arts degree in two years, graduating in 1771. Madison had contemplated either entering the clergy or practicing law after graduation but instead remained at Princeton to study Hebrew and political philosophy under the college's president, John Witherspoon. He returned home to Montpelier in early 1772. Madison's ideas on philosophy and morality were strongly shaped by Witherspoon, who converted him to the philosophy, values, and modes of thinking of the Age of Enlightenment. Biographer Terence Ball wrote that at Princeton, Madison was immersed in the liberalism of the Enlightenment and converted to 18th-century political radicalism. From then on James Madison's theories would advance the rights of happiness of man, and his most active efforts would serve devotedly the cause of civil and political liberty. After returning to Montpelier, without a chosen career, Madison served as a tutor to his younger siblings. He began to study law books in 1773, asking his friend Bradford, a law apprentice, to send him a written plan of study. Madison had acquired an understanding of legal publications by 1783. 
He saw himself as a law student but not a lawyer. Madison did not apprentice himself to a lawyer and never joined the bar. Following the Revolutionary War, he spent time at Montpelier in Virginia studying ancient democracies of the world in preparation for the Constitutional Convention. Madison suffered from episodes of mental exhaustion and illness with associated nervousness, which often caused temporary short-term incapacity after periods of stress. However, he enjoyed good physical health until his final years.